Hey boys, welcome back to some more spin bowling cream mode and they're still in the T20 blast and actually look there We are in third spot on the ladder with nine wins and I think it was four losses So I mean we're traveling pretty well in this little competition Taking on Kent here who do have Adam Milne and they did have Wayne Parnell 12th man So a couple of a couple of more notable players, I guess um, But uh, not not too many stars probably I think, uh, I think probably at the same time as this comp is going on, there's, there's some internationals, which would make sense for the fact that Alistair Cook is, is not in the, in our team anymore, so there must be some, obviously, internationals going on, and we're just, you know, playing in the domestic comp, obviously, we, you know, we still have a bit, uh, a bit to go before we, we make that next step into the international, um, as we come out here, 28 average, 250s, and, uh, a good, uh, good healthy strike right there. Pretty good stuff. And so yeah, there we go. We're uh, what are we? Five for five for ninety nine. Not. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I'm always happy when we lose some quick wickets. So we get seven overs to to come in here and make a, uh, you know, make a bit of a bit of a fist of uh, of some batting. Obviously, you don't get uh, don't get too many chances into that middle to lower order so it's good uh, it's good when we do we're gonna push push for two here oh man <laughs> it was actually the throw was going to our end but it almost direct hit the bowlers end which probably would have had um all made out at the other end but uh thankfully it uh it didn't so at the moment just just trying to look for the gaps it's it's always a bit tricky i you know obviously selfishly i'd love to open or come in at third because the power play is obviously the best place to uh to get some easy runs but that's a that's a good shot just picking our spot there you know we didn't time it too well i mean if that was if that was to like a man on the boundary probably would have been out but we've we've placed it nicely just into that mid wicket gap there was no one back there so it's a, it's a good shot really pretty safe and uh it has caused a field change and then we just make full advantage of that. That is a monster six over square leg. Uh, 81 meters wasn't as big as I, I first thought. But it's uh, <laughs> a good six nonetheless. I, I don't know what this field is. The ground is, is fairly strange. They got like this big, <laughs> these, these big side screens at, uh, at either side. But um, yeah, that was, that was good batting, honestly. Hit the four to mid wicket. They changed the field up. And then we just blast one over square leg. So it's a good batting. 13 off seven. And uh, we do get the spinner to face, and uh, that is a nice sweep shot. That is it's definitely my my more preferred shot. I do like the uh, the sweeps, the more the more unorthodox shots, I guess, against the against the spinners. And uh, there's a good gap out there. It suits our, our play style. They've got a deep straight off, like a cover third man mid wicket, and he's bowling not great, unfortunately. Though. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. That's a terrible ball. It was it was wide down leg. It should have copped the same treatment, but um, just a little bit early. He made it just a little bit slow, a little bit more flighted. Um, it didn't really seem it, but uh, we just timed it a touch early. We hit it nicely, but straight to the fielder. So, you know, obviously when they got the gaps on the boundary, there's going to be man in close. So we had to be a little careful. Unfortunately, we did pick him out. So. Our little cameo comes to an end, uh, but we do get a chance with the ball here. So they need, they need 86. I mean, we got a, we got a decent total, not uh, not terrible. It puts us in the game, although they are they're off to a, a decent start here. They're sort of, they're definitely on par with the runs, and only two wickets down. You would definitely say they are in control. And uh, actually, another another bit of a known player, Joe Denley, for their team. So some uh, some decent plays in this game. So we do need, we need a breakthrough, you know, again, the wicket here. Also, I mean, having a couple of tidy overs is definitely good as we see a massive fucking just, just screen there. I didn't, I didn't know what the hell's going on with this ground. It was pretty freaky when I was um playing it, but um, yeah, into our second over. They've, uh, they've hold us, held us back and we've got to pick up a massive breakthrough. Uh, northeast, <laughs> northeast there is the man in form and, uh, Potentially, this could uh, this could cause some trouble. It was a beautiful ball. We actually came a little wider on the crease, just gripped enough just to come back through the gate, 
catching a little faint inside edge. The keeper was looking in no man's land, but thankfully he does get down to take the catch. And uh, a nice safe catch. So one for five. They, they need 39 of 29. I mean, the runs aren't shouldn't be an issue, but now they're five wickets down with two fairly new batters at the crease. And uh, another good over. Obviously, the four on the previous ball. Uh, but we are going to finish off strongly with just a single. So we did our job. We got the, big, uh, the big breakthrough and it kept it tidy at the same time. So it's it's coming down to the wire here. We've got uh, we got two overs left. I mean, we should probably bowl out. It's, it's it's not really common for the spinner to bowl like the last overs. I always find that a little strange. Like teams just don't use spinners at like the death overs, even though spinners like. Most batters like pace on the ball, so I, I don't know. I feel like it's a tactic teams are going to try eventually. Uh, it might not work. You know, a lot of batters, they're going so hard that the spinners might just get dispatched. But I don't know. I feel like most pace bowlers, they do take the pace off anyway in the death overs. So it, it sort of makes sense. But, you know, that's uh, they'll try it one day, I guess. And uh, it'll either work or it won't. But right there... That is a massive boundary to get. It was such a good over. Two runs conceded. Still only the six offered. So they need 21 off the final two overs. And our other spinner, who's two for six off his one over, is pumped down the ground. It's so high. I thought he was going to get a wicket here, but it's gone for six, 79 meters. That's not a good start. He's bowled extremely well. He was two for six off his two overs. Um, so the spinners have done the job in this game, but that is a, that's a shocking start to the over. That's not what we needed, and uh, it was a pretty big hit. It went so high. It only actually just tripled over, uh, but now it's all of a sudden 15 off 11. I was just thinking we just have to have our bowl. I, we need to bowl the last over. <laughs> that's all we want, uh, but there we go. He just the, the first ball, I think it was like 60-odd Ks. That one he darted in a little bit quicker and probably a safer option, really. Um, we do end up simulating because I didn't want to watch it all. And unfortunately, we are going to lose. We didn't even get to bowl the last over, which is very frustrating. Um, they obviously got to the last over, but uh, they didn't trust us. I, uh, I feel like we could have done the job, but uh, not to be. Had a you know had a decent all-round effort. We bowled pretty well, batted okay, but uh, you know we didn't get to finish the job. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.